Hey guys, it's Chugga Connor and we're back. Um, saw the last part right there. Uh, iron turtle up. Uh, pil we uh, repaired the uh, broken iron and we got the uh, slime generator. I'm gonna show that in the next fight just to show you guys what it does. In this part, we're just gonna be heading back to Threed. Chugga's gonna win. Impressed. Someday, sometime, we help you. Just remember that. Remember that. They will help us. Someday, sometime. It's true. They may not have arms. They may be very strange, but they will help us. It's kind of weird. Paul and Jeff turned diagonal, but Ness didn't. Oh well. Terrible odor. Gee, I wonder what it did to vent a terrible odor. Alright. Now, there's really not much to talk about right here. Uh, I'm just showing you guys the way back to 3, you know. I kind of want to be on camera like when we get to 3, you know, because uh, I just absolutely love this song right there and I want to share that with you guys, so I'm not going to skip 3 altogether. Plus there's a little side quest that I want to show you guys. In fact, what do you know, I'll, I'll just cut this right here and I'll go to where I'm like right back at the cave like uh, that we took to get here, because you go back the way you came, so. I'll see you guys in a minute. Or rather a second for you guys because I'm gonna cut this. Okay, and we're back. We're about to go back into three full of zombies. Full of tyranny. Are you guys ready? Let's go. What is this? What has become of the three we knew and love? Thank you for bringing peace and happiness to three. Thanks. Peace. Love. I won't forget you. Why don't you go back to three sometime? Really didn't think those kids could save the town. Who would have ever imagined it? Oh. Magic butterfly. That was weird. Since the leader of the monsters is gone, the ghost in the tunnel have disappeared. Bus go through the tunnel now. Okay. I love the music here. This is probably one of my favorite songs in the game, especially when it gets to that one part later in the song. But, anyway... I'm just gonna go around and show you guys a few differences we got here. There's actually people out walking around now. There's not enemies everywhere, thank God. Okay. Talk to the arms dealer. We'll see this guy from now on. He basically sells cool stuff for Jeff. He didn't have any thing really worth our while before. And he doesn't really have anything worth our while now. So besides bottle rockets. Actually, yeah, I'll buy the bottle rocket. It's not much, but it'll at least be something for Jeff. I'd recommend probably buying like two or three of them. I'm just gonna do two, because I don't need a lot. And this is the part of the song that I love, by the way. I love this song so much. Anyway, um, I'm gonna show you guys a cool little side quest you can do right here. A lot of people don't know about this, actually. Yes, anytime that there's like gonna be a little thing coming up that a lot of people don't know about, I'm gonna show it. We're going to the hospital right here. Check this. Let's check the drawers. There was an insignificant item in the drawer. Paul got the insignificant item. Strange, isn't it? Anyway, um what we gotta do with this insignificant item is we gotta go to Tucson with it. Now, there's really no guide for this. It's just kind of a little thing where you got to get lucky. you got to find a guide for it online. It's something that a lot of people don't know about, so... Yeah. I'm just going to go over here. Look like the next bus will come pretty soon. Yeah, I'm just going to take the bus back... Oh. I went on the wrong side of the road. I am an idiot. This bus goes to four side. Which I don't know. No. Do I want to go? No! I haven't done that in a bunch of parts. Anyway, I'm actually going to cut this here, and I'll uh, resume this when I'm in Tucson, alright? See you guys in just a moment. Okay, we're back, and we're in Tucson now. If I remember, we got to go to the hospital in Tucson. Right here. It's up here. Oh, great, a hippie. Oh, he's running away from us. Alright, yay, we don't have to fight. Even though the hippies are awesome, and I kind of miss fighting them, oh well. 
believe we have to go up to the second floor in the Tucson hospital. I believe it's a hospital. Memory's a little fuzzy. Talk to this guy. Perfect checked up health. Now I just wish I had more visitors. Hang on. Check out the insignificant item. Do very fruitless. Alright. Let me do that again. Hang on. I guess by using the insignificant present, you have a very fruitful experience that cannot be understood by someone who's not used the something insignificant. That is very strange. I believe you gotta give it to one of these guys. Hang on. Yeah, the insignificant item is just weird. And it says insignificant present, which is even weirder. A friend who joined the Happy Happy Region came to see me a while ago. We became friends again. Is it this guy you gotta use it on? I forget. No? Remember there was a reward for returning it. Yeah, I'm probably boring you guys with this. Thank you, you made me so happy. After my life, this is the second most important thing to me. You guys are so kind, I want to give you this magic trouble. It's a souvenir from Scaraba. Oh, I got the magic truffle. Okay, that is what you gotta do. You get the magic truffle. The magic truffle is a very good PP item. And everything. You actually can find them when you get to this place much, much later in the game. You know, we just telling us Scaraba. Very rare, but very helpful. They recover a ton of PP, and they're essentially some of the best items in the game. Um, also, real quick, before I end this, uh, I want to show this guy. This is a guy you can go to any point in the game, I just never showed him. This is the Hint Man. You pay him to give you hints in the game about where to go next. If you're ever lost, you can just talk to him, though, but the thing that's pointless about him is... This guy... You don't need him. You don't need him. This game came with a player's guide. You don't need hints. It came with a player's guide. And, of course, this is a throwback to Charlie Brown, you know, the end sign and the, you know, rickety wood thing. Kind of funny. Good grief! Ah, that was a bad pun. Yeah, of course, throw back Charlie Brown, but anyway, yeah, you don't need him. Um, I'm actually gonna cut this here. Uh, we're gonna end off in threed. Eh, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'll, I'll, I'll just ride the bus back and I'll talk to you guys. Yeah, this part was a really weird part. I'm gonna say that much. I'll agree with you guys. Like, it backs in, because <laughs> there's no way I can turn around. This just goes to four side via three. Six weeks of the fair, I can't take it there. Do you want to go? Yes. Well, hop aboard then. Okay. We're going to ride this bus all the way to four side, because that's where we need to go. Let's go to four side, because that's where I want to be. Okay, I won't sing that. Yeah, okay. Oh, here's something funny. If you actually look at the uh, pixels on the uh, top of the bus right there, it says Gray Hand Bus. Obviously a spoof of Easy Hand... Uh, no, easy. Spoof of uh, Greyhound Bus. I accidentally said Spoof of Easy Hand Bus because some people always thought that said Easy Hand Bus. Which it does kind of look like it, too. Yeah, Gray Hand Bus is the uh, name of the uh, bus line in Earthbound. Oh, whoa, that was weird. He almost drove right up the road and hit that lady. Look at that. He almost went right into her. Hey, yeah, if you guys didn't see that, rewind check the footage again. Let's continue to force that. Um. Can I get off here? Um. No! We are not getting off here. That was kind of weird. My controller wasn't responding there for a second. There's actually, um. An NPC that's, like, supposed to be, like, over there. Oh. Hang on. Okay, so now we're just gonna ride on straight up to Foresight. This should be easy and fun, and we wanted to make a long journey to the next town. It's great, isn't it? Just riding the bus. So easy, and the bus can go through these tunnels now because there's no ghosts, because we got rid of them all. With Master Belch gone, we don't have to worry about them anymore. And why are we slowing down? This isn't good, and... Man, it's bumper to bumper. My job is to drive so I can't get out of the bus. It's up to you if you want to get a bus and walk on this desert. Hey, it's a free country. Hey, <laughs> it's a free country. I wonder what this game said, the Japanese version. But anyway, that's it. Um, we're going to cut this here. Actually, we're going to go into the drugs place. 
Yes, that's kind of weird. But anyway, uh, we're going to cut this here. Uh, if you like this part, subscribe to our videos up in the corner. Big yellow button. Give me a good five-star rating down below this video. And be sure to check out my other parts if you like this one. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'll see you guys later.